I can tell you we have carriers coming all the way from, I have 500 different owner operators coming from St. Louis, Missouri alone. I've got 600 from the Northeast going to DC. We got 500, excuse me, 500 from St. Louis. We have people coming from all walks of life coming to DC May 1st. What's going on, mother truckers? I've had about a hundred truck drivers ask me for an update about May 1st, right? Uh, we talked about this. This was a truckers movement for justice. And it's just a group of owner operators that want to on May 1st, uh, go to, uh, the Department of Transportation, uh, at 7 a.m. on May 1st. They have permits to be there. They ask you not to bring your semi trucks. They're saying that they're allowed to protest. So, 7 a.m. May 1st, uh, U.S. Department of Transportation, 1200 New Jersey Avenue, Southeast Washington, D.C. What they're fighting for is all hours worked, all hours paid, no more free time, waiting on load. At least drivers would get $45 an hour, trucks $150 an hour. Overtime for all truckers, remove the exemption. We deserve time and a half after 40 hours, enforcement of the right to see the freight bill before the deal is made every transaction. Uh, phone number 845-768-0416. Uh, so, you know, there's the phone number, email. And uh, basically, uh, we have a update. You know, uh, Santiago um, is promoting this and telling people to definitely make sure to come. As far as Mother Trucker News, uh, we always support truck drivers. So that's why we're giving you this information as well. Now, um, uh, according to Santiago, he's saying that uh, they have confirmed over 1,100 owner-operators that will be there on May Day, which is May 1st. That is May 1st is on a Monday. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Rick Santiago, and uh, this is my last video as far as May 1st uh, for 2023. I'm going to let you know that the Truckers Movement for Justice is actually in full effect. I mean, it is taken off. I can tell you we have... Carriers coming all the way from, I have 500 different owner operators coming from St. Louis, Missouri alone. I've got 600 from the Northeast going to DC. We got 500, five, excuse me, 500 from St. Louis. We have people coming from all walks of life coming to DC May 1st, um, to let it be known that you can't hold it no more. All right. So let's start from the beginning. The truckers movement for justice is an independent a uh, nonprofit organization that's uh, made up of truck drivers, owner operators. Uh, they've got the permit for to set in front of DC May 1st of this year, right in front of the United States Department of Transportation. Um, their message is simple: enough of the cheap freight bullshit. It's that simple. We have uh, the attention of the press now. The press is fully expecting a massive turnout. Um, I would like to see. Hundreds of thousands of owner operators in DC. If you see a camera there, jump in front of it. Let it be known you can't handle these rates. Let me give you a great example. This is a one pick 26 drop load. And they're offering 9,000. That's something that nobody can operate. 26 drops. You can't operate at $9,000 at 26 drops. You can't service that. Um, so here's my absolute strongest advice. Number one, uh, go to D.C. next Monday. Uh, we've given you plenty of notice. There's been plenty of videos, plenty of uh, media. The media is going to be there. And what I mean by the media, this is going to be a massive uh, a press issue. Got to remember, elections are coming up. Um uh, politicians are watching this very closely as well. Um, what I can tell you is, is regardless if you're a Democrat or Republican, red or blue, the only focus and the only color you should focus on is green. That is it. If you're an owner operator and you're tired of dealing with these bullshit rates, I strongly advise park the truck, go to DC next Monday and let it be known. This is one time in the history of our industry that I'm truly trying to get us all on one Page. I'm not worried about safety. I'm not worried about regulations. I'm worried about you and the dollar that you're not making. That should be the only focus on DC is the financial costs that you are suffering right now.